What I want to ask is, what makes you like a person? A pretty face. Can you be more specific? Thin waist, long legs, long hair. I don't mean it like that. I mean, aside from their looks, are there any other factors? Do you really need a reason to like someone? I mean, do you really? Well, do you? Be more specific. For example, if she's really nice to you. Usually, they're just so bossy and treat you like a sidekick. Does bossiness count? A as feelings. <laughs> as if you can be the judge of that, senpai. You don't know anything about it because you've never tried it. How can you arrive at a conclusion like that? Hmm, right you are. So, Zodiac readings are unreliable, right? Which two? Aquarius and Gemini. Not great. Both of them air signs. Gemini have trouble expressing their emotions, while Aquarius girls will do all these things for you but never tell you that they like you. Ah, uh, not great, then. But only children believe in zodiac signs. You can't possibly believe in those. But how can you know for sure that you actually truly like a girl? If you're thinking about somebody while you're asking me this, then it means that you like her. I see. If there's nothing else... Good afternoon, Lu Senpai. Smells good. White jelly mushroom soup is for sick people. If you think that smells nice, wait till you smell my rib stew. You'll see. I'm looking forward to it. What's your zodiac sign, Chevy? You look like a great cook. I'm an Aquarius, you know, and we are great cooks. Senpai, I'm going in. You shouldn't allow poverty to limit your imagination, my friend. Right after Senpai recovered, we got news that the Dragon Lord would be resurrected, so the college sent us on a mission again. After arriving, Senpai locked himself up in a hotel to analyze data. I didn't want to distract him. Well, 
I said I'd go out for a bit, and ended up in an internet cafe playing StarCraft. You probably think I'm totally useless right now. You really think so too? I played games for days. Finally I went back to the hotel to see where Senpai was. Who the hell knew that one simple subway trip would get me into the Dragon Lord's Nibelungen? <sighs> Even if I hadn't gotten into the subway that day, the little dragon girl would have still turned into the Dragon Lord.
Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Your real name? He is my brother. His dragon name is Fenrir, Lord of Earth and Mountain. Fenrir. In Norse mythology, the wolf offspring of Loki, the god of mischief, and the female giant Angerboda. Hmm. So, you must have guessed what my name is, right? Jormungandr. Fenrir's sister. That's right. My name is Jormungandr. Jormungandr the Dragon Lord. In your name, I am the great serpent that encircles Midgard. And you should have another sister, Hela. Her name is Hela. Hela is not yet born, but she will be soon. Today will be her birthday, and her birthplace is right here. No way. <laughs> Don't worry, my brother. There will not be a third Dragon Lord tonight. And your deduction is correct. There is a pair of twins on the thrones of the four overlords. Ela, the goddess of death, is the mixed lineage of my brothers and my bloodline. Tonight, she will come to live right here. You want to devour him? Yes. But I never thought the humans could reveal this secret just from pieces of fragmented history. Our strength comes from our lineage. But us purebloods are not like you lowly hybrids. While you are trying to improve the purity of your blood, we have already reached the peak. Our method to strengthen the talent is to blend in the blood of other pureblood kings. When I devour him, our blood will be blended, and Hela will be born. Hela is neither Jormungandr or Fenrir. She is the sum of us two, and is stronger than both of us combined. What? You'll evolve into gods? Well said. As the goddess of death, the queen of the Nibelungen, she will open all the doors to the realm of the dead. That will raise the curtain of the return of the Age of Myth. How oh, magnificent it is. Such a shame that you didn't live to see that moment. You told me about your brother. That he trusted you and thought the world of you. He could have fought back. But he was good. You could have devoured him a long time ago. Why wait till today? After all that trouble. <laughs> because I love him. But... You'll still devour him, right? Why? Why would you talk such nonsense with a human like me? You are a dragon. Even if there are only two of your kind left, you'll still do anything and sacrifice your only hope for companionship to obtain power. Yours is a race where only the strongest survive. That's why you are stronger than us humans. Only the strong can survive till the end. The weak ones are just food for them. You have already succeeded. You have no need for a weakling's tears. <laughs> yes, you are right. You are so strange. Are you truly a human? The way you think about things. Aren't you one of us? I'm just trying to figure you guys out from a theoretical standpoint. I've Pretty decent grades in my theory class. But he isn't food. He's my brother. You aren't nearly as powerful as your brother. Why? Is it your curiosity as an academic? <laughs> yes. 
Your guess is right. It doesn't hurt if I tell you the truth. The twins on the throne are not identical. Actually, to be quite honest, we complement each other perfectly. Between me and Fenrir, Fenrir has an innate advantage in his lineage. His extra skill is far better than mine, but his intelligence is limited to a very low level. You're his brain. All he needs to do is trust you. Yes. He always listens to me. All this was planned by your father, the Dark King, yes? Those who are truly powerful also have great weaknesses. They are, in fact, your food reserves. When all else fails, you can always eat them. Yes. They are born to be food. out for so many days it was also you who I saw first are you still going to thank me like a nightmare the nightmare is over you are about to die do you have any last words for Shavi or your Mangander to Shavi I suppose you don't know anything about your Mangander why do you want me to come over? You weren't supposed to die here. If only you'd done exactly as I asked you in my text. Had a good night's sleep. Then come over to my place, wearing your new clothes tomorrow, at noon. Of course, you wouldn't have found me there. Because I would have been gone by then. According to my plans, Tonight is the night that Hela will be born. But why did you come here, even after I told you not to? Don't mind me. All I really need are a few more minutes. 
I have a few more questions. Yes. When I met you for the first time, I felt like we'd met before. Why was that? I... Why can't I remember? I told you we grew up together as best friends. We've been classmates since forever. Neither of us had any other friends to speak of. When you think about it, we're the closest people in this world. It's not that I don't believe you. But I really struggle to remember. That's why I keep trying to recall it. I erased your memories. It's not good for you to remember me. Why... me? Because you carry Odin's mark. I don't know what led him to choose you. I watched you because I wanted to learn about Odin. <laughs> I really put a lot of effort into it, you know? I even tried to use my charms to seduce you. Oh, but you turned out to be completely uninterested, much to my disappointment. What? Are you mocking me? I wasn't too well versed in all things human back then, so I wasn't great at it. You have been learning about human behavior all this time? You know nothing about dragons. We, much like humans, are born into this world as innocent as children. Aren't you a god? You are so stubborn. Even a god, when he is first born into this world, is still like an innocent child, you know? So you needed to study. How to pretend to be human. Yes, I needed to observe closely someone who was laughing, to understand why they were laughing. And when someone was sad, I needed to remember how they looked, so I could do it too. Sometimes I got close to guys on purpose, in order to observe the desire they had for me. Or love, as you would. After I collected and combined all that knowledge, I was able to create Shavi. A girl who had never existed in this world. I should have remained hidden for longer, then I wouldn't have had to sacrifice my brother. But my time is up now. It was also you, at the amusement park. Right? I guess I wanted to find out just how strong the strongest hybrid out there really is. If we could survive, it'll be easier for me to gain your trust. Because I suddenly changed my mind, of course. You displayed an ability to purify blood, so I figured I could shift the attention onto you. That way I could better conceal myself, and I was right. <laughs> hey, tell me you didn't think I saved you because I loved you or something like that. Sounds forbidden. Impossible. Right, quite unlikely. <laughs> that would be sympathy sympathy yes are you done with your questions last question is Shavi there right now yes it's me Shavi don't worry you just had a bad dream and everything scary in that dream simply wasn't real I've been right by you all along, just like the last time when you slept for 10 days. Jormungandr, the Dragon Lord!
Don't sound as if I have consumed your girl already. Xavi is there. Go. I have left everything about her there. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Senpai goes into blood rage mode. He's like a real dragon. The way he looks, the way he acts. If not for that, we would have all died inside that subway's Nibelungen. I wonder if Senpai regrets it now. I mean, he fell for that girl. <sighs> had it been you, would you have had the courage to stab the dragon girl? getting the feeling that the senpai, the dragon girl, is still alive. Even though he never shows any feelings, and none of us knows what he thinks. Later he would use Fire Twister when he used Royal Fire, just like how he would use Windlord's Stare when he was with the dragon girl. Sometimes I envy senpai. I think the feel- Wait, wait. I shouldn't envy him. That little gangster princess could turn out to be the dragon lord. I guess I'm just gonna go help out now.